that you're uh, sort of the loonier the better in this particular instance. Right now, carrier bags, should they, uh, those that are handed out in shops and supermarkets anyway, should they be banned or should there be charges for them like there are in Ireland? Well, today, the independent newspaper's front page, as we've been saying, is uh, screaming out the words, ban the bag. Yesterday, 33 London councils joined the campaign to ban the carrier bag. Well, there are also ongoing campaigns for such move in tame and wantage. Claire Billsborough is one of the people behind the Bring Your Own Bag to Tame campaign and runs Sapphire Moon in Tame. Uh, first of all, what is exactly Sapphire Moon? Um, we are a fair trade gift shop at the bottom of Tame High Street. Um, we've had a plastic bag free policy since we opened two years ago. Um, and uh, we've been actively trying to encourage our suppliers to use recyclable packaging when they send us our goodies. Well, are they? What percentage use recyclable things? Mm, they're pretty good, actually. Um, the majority of my suppliers, obviously, are fair trade suppliers anyway, so they do have an ethical sort of background to them. Um, and in general, they are very good. Well, um, here's an, a text message that I got. It's anonymous, but it says, Please inform dear old Bill that most plastic bags are now biodegradable. Try weighing one <laughs> and then relax, Bill. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, I mean, there are a lot more biodegradable bags out there now. Um, there's, there's a number of businesses in, in Tame that, that do already have biodegradable bags. Mm, um, like, and for I feel instance? That, that, that plastic bags themselves should actually be phased out rather than an outright ban, um, most, and, and that they need to be charged for. Um, there's a lot of retailers out there who have stacks of plastic bags in their cellars, and it's not viable to just destroy them um, if there was an outright ban. Mm. Uh, just down the street from you in Tame, it, there's a place called What's Cooking, right near the birdcage. Yep. And they use, uh, the, the, and when they sell things, their, their food, they u will use brown uh, paper bags. Mm -hmm. And I also know that Umberto in Greyhound Walk, uh, he's got these jute bags. That's right, yes, he has. Um, the the twenty twenty for uh, the Tame First, which is uh, another name for the Chamber of Commerce in in Tame, and the Community Action Group got together in July this year and uh, financed um, a thousand jute bags to be made and printed um, for us in order in order for us to run our Bring Your Own Bag to Tame campaign. Um, as part of that, a lot of other retailers, some of some of whom already had their own bags, joined in and, and either got their own bags made. Um, Catherine at the, lo at the practice did, did the same thing. She, she got cotton bags in for her business. Um, Umberto, I know, has had them for a while. So a lot of people came on board with the, the scheme mm. um, and stocked these, the jute bags that we have. It's an ongoing campaign as well. Um, the particip participating retailers um, have a raffle coming up for the run-up to Christmas where we're filling up the bags with our goodies from our shops and then raffling them in order to raise awareness of the bags again in time. Well, it sounds great. Um, Claire, my co-host, Imogen Matthews, wants to come in. Imogen. Mm -hmm. yeah, I just wanted to com make a comment, actually, about what you just said, Bill. Uh, you mentioned the brown paper bag, um, which I know they use in the States a lot, don't they? Yeah, they do. Mm. I mean, it sounds great in, in principle, but think about all those trees that have to be felled and grown and, you know... Yes, but, but they, can, they can be made from uh, the, our paper that we recycle. Yes, that's a point, yeah. But isn't it better, really, to have something which is um, a bag which is reusable? Because I think anything that, that's um, disposable, people will dispose of. Well, I don't. I mean, Claire, what about you? Do you... No, I, I agree with Imogen. I think from, from a long-term point of view, it's a case of changing your mindset um, and getting back into the habit of using your own bag, bringing your own bag to the shops. I mean, for, the, for most of the... Up until the middle of this century, people weren't mm. using plastic bags because they just weren't there. So there's really no reason why they should carry on using them now. I mean, there are so many possibilities, so many other alternatives, um, from biodegradable bags to cornstarch bags, um, organic cotton bags, jute bags, bags that can be used over and over and over and over again. And when you bear in mind that the average person uses 80 carrier bags per year, mm. taking one jute bag to the shops every time you go is going to make a big, big difference. I think a lot of the, the the problem really is actually educating young people because, as you rightly said earlier, um, in, in you know bef during the war and and <clears throat> times um, a lot you know perhaps 50 years ago, we didn't have plastic bags and people had to make do with with whatever bags they had. Mm. Um, but young people who've grown up 
after the war, they've grown up in a culture of plastic bags and they think nothing of it. Absolutely. So we've got to actually educate the young. Well, um, we'll have to leave it there, Claire. But um, but but thanks very much indeed, uh, Claire. Who uh, Claire Billsborough, who runs Sapphire Moon in Tame. BBC Radio Oxford. Travel news.